Years ago, during daytime hours, an oncoming car cut right in front of me so I had to slam hard on my brakes in order to avoid a collision. I hit the horn button and by accident moved a high beam stock on my Land Rover 110. I still remember how the oncoming driver threw up his hand in order to avoid being totally blinded by the 600 watts of lights that hit him square in the face. All the eight lights were properly adjusted. Not the right reason to have lights well adjusted, but the episode that could have ended badly makes me smile every time I think about it. The first step in aligning the lights, if it's the headlight or if it's the auxiliary lights, is to measure the distance from the floor up to the center of the light. So in this case it's 37 inches. For the auxiliary light, it is 47 inches to the low beams. And when you have a composite headlight where you have both the low and the head high beams in the same uh, housing, you always adjust for the low beams, not the high beams. And there's two reasons why you adjust the headlights. A is not to blind oncoming traffic. And B is that uh, when it gets dark outside, <laughs> that the light beams they shine on the road and out, on in, out into the wilderness on the side of the road or up in the sky. So yes, let's... And the second part I need to do is on the auxiliary light, I need to measure the distance between the lights. This case is 22 inches. So then I need to point the motorcycle towards the wall. And ideally, the longer distance you have, the more accurate your adjustment will be. In this case, I only have the, I don't have the 25 feet. So I'll do half of that, 12 foot, six inches. And then I have just half the dimensions that I need to use. Generally, low beam lights needs to point a little bit downward. But if the middle of the light, where the light bulb is located, is less than 34 inches from the ground, the light beam should be level. If the middle of the light is located between 35 to 39 inches above ground, the light should hit a vertical wall placed 25 feet from the face of the headlight, two inches lower. Say the middle of the headlight is located at 37 inches above the ground, then the cutoff line or the top of the light where the light beam hits the wall should be at 35 inches above the ground. If the center of the light is located at 40 inches or above ground, then the cutoff line should be 3 inches below at 25 feet away. High beam lights or long range auxiliary lights should be level. In other words, the same distance from the floor to the center of the light or to the light bulb on both the vehicle and on the wall 25 feet away. I have marked up all the lines on the wall. So this is the center line. And the top line here is the 47 inches, that's the height of my low beams on the motorcycle itself. So because I only have 12 foot 6 inches, I'm not using 3 inches below, I'm using 1.5 inch below. So the bottom of the tape is 45.5 inches above the floor level. So I'm going to adjust my low beam on a motorcycle so the top crisp line will align up with this, the bottom of the blue tape. I'm just using blue painter's tape because it's easily removed. The bottom line here, that's for the two auxiliary lights. So the bottom line here is 36 inches above floor level. So that's one inch below. below. So it's, if you had 25 feet, it would be two inches below. 
and these this is the dimension from here to here is 22 inches center line to center line and it's center on the big center line so the spots they need to hit I guess the bottom here in each one so we'll see how it goes this is where the spots hit there was just a rough adjustments I did outside one night at an exterior wall and I just eyeballed the whole thing and it's not that far off so I need to adjust the left one up a little bit so it's 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 fairly good. Yeah, that, that's pretty good. I had a two stage uh, high low switch on my auxiliary lights. So this is the high. And this is the low, quite a bit difference. So these are the low beam on the bike. And as you can see, they are a little bit too low. They should be way, way higher. So the Yamaha Tenere 700 has two little knobs that you can turn in order to adjust the headlight. So my bike, they were stuck, so I ended up taking the whole headlight assembly apart and I put, I guess, some lubrication on it and I got it unstuck. But I was only able to move it. They were both working freely, both the knobs with the wheel, the gear, the sprockets and everything they are attached to. But the only difference between the top and the bottom was about an inch. So I guess I have to <laughs> end up putting a bullet collection on the on the top box of the bike to erase the front a little bit. Hopefully this video gives you a little insight in how to adjust the beam or beams on your motorcycle lights. The drawings early in the video shows you the guidelines. Most places include instructions on the Denali DR1 lights installed on this bike, simplifies it a little too much. It all depends on how far from the ground the lights are mounted on your bike. When you adjust the lights, just make sure that your bike is level. If you have your bike sitting on the center stand, you're going to have to block up underneath the front and rear wheels equally and usually like a one by under each wheel will make the bike level if you do that then you have to adjust the distance from the ground to the line on the wall by three quarter of an inch since the one by is really three quarter of an inch even better if you can have somebody that holds the bike while you're adjusting it that makes it a lot easier have a good ride Please subscribe, more videos to follow.